I'm with my buddy John. We're gonna go to Edinburgh Beer Distributor. Where I used to work. Where I used to work. Going to the beer distributor. Going to see what we can see. Going to the beer distributor. Going to drink what we can drink. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? And welcome to Wet Wednesdays. Today's a special brew review or beer review of Wet Wednesdays. And um, I went to uh, the one beer distributor... That my, um, in Edinburgh, there's two of them, actually. Um, the one near Walmart we never go, rarely ever go to, we will go to the classic one that Dad and I used to go to, and then John and I go to, and John used to work there a long time back. Um, and, uh, we shot a little entrance going there, and I keep forgetting to upload, edit it into one of the videos, but it has to be for an item I got at, and that beer distributor, not the one in Giant Eagle, because I got some stuff in Giant Eagle, too. Um, and it's weird because, you know, look at prices. Giant Eagle is, like I said, Giant is expensive. They have, like, um, this is like the beer distributor. Um, they have, like, like odds and ends that they have of beer and stuff. Beer and similar uh, alcohol items, right? You get a six-pack of those for, like, Eight dollars and ninety cents. Eight dollars ninety nine cents, I think. Now the same thing at Giant Eagle, a six pack of unusual items is like twelve ninety nine. Sure, sure, how expensive it is. But I mean, I think they have. Um, but as far as mix and match, they have a more variety, and that's when they're able to sell singles too. That's probably why. But I'm not exactly sure. But they have like odds and ends at the end, bro, for eight ninety nine. Giant Eagle's twelve ninety nine. I got some stuff from there too. But I want to make sure to get like. A brewski that I got from that place. And I put the intro in there. Cause I keep forgetting to do it. It's on desktop. I got to edit it. Why uh, well, I'm done doing this bunch of videos on a Tuesday night, 9.51 uh, p.m. Wet Wednesdays, of course. And this is Victory Summer Love. Seasonal favorites. A golden ale. Now, the one nice thing about it, they have like a whole bunch of like singles in like a tub of ice and stuff like that. Those are a dollar piece, so this is only a dollar, so that's pretty nice. And a little bit of, um, let me see, like, in here. What's that song? It's like, and this ain't the summer of love. I think that was from Blue to Cold, I think. Some, some, and this ain't the summer of love. A little bit of, um, from uh, Taste Victory Responsibly, pre recyclable. This is from Downingville, PA. Cool. The, the Victory Brewing Company. Has a little bit of a story right here. Taste of sunshine. Uh, says summer of all, summer is all about good vibes. The refreshing beer includes earthy and lemony hop notes that create a unexpected burst of flavor for a vibrant taste. Com combination you will never forget. And it said malt pilsner, carapils, hops. Simcoe Tetanang, or whatever it is. Brews Master Approval. So let's try it out. This is only a dollar. 5.2% alcohol. Go right here. There we go. Oh, it smells. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Oh, it fizzed up a little bit. Not too bad. At least for it to die down a little bit. Not too bad. One of the stronger tasting beers. Yeah, it's pretty decent. I'm going to definitely finish this, finish this can up. You know, it's kind of weird... I remember in the army, you just go out drinking all the all the time, and then coming to work the next day. Sometimes that can be a curse. I mean, but I mean, I'm just having one beer. But I mean, I remember going out in the military, and going to like the bar. I mean, especially in Germany, not 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 in um, like Fort Bragg, but in Germany, big time. And going out to like the bars. Uh, the German bars and stuff like that, and drinking until you get really messed up, and then going, oh, it was, 
I would never do that again. I, I don't. I don't see how I could was able to do that. But I was a young kid. Now they will do that, even though I was the worst for wear. Coming back to work. Uh, coming back. To, well, to work day shift in the middle. I mean, you know, going out all night to drink like two, three in the morning and having to get up at like seven, eight o'clock to do PT. And I come and I didn't make the PT. Well, I only, one time I drank again. I really drank. I was supposed to go to PT. No one else was there. So I got out of that. It was, this was ages back. This was like in 88, 89 so of, of, of last century. So it was a long time ago. But I mean, I don't know how I could, how I did it. You know, but I mean, I would never do that now. I mean, but I know I was messed up though. But I got out of it. Now I'd probably get my, I'd get fired for sure. But I don't, you know, one beer for night for work, no big deal. But I mean, boy, I used to get hammered drunk a long time ago. But I would never do that. I mean, I learned my lesson. Uh, I was hung over. And in front of everybody, it was really bad. I threw up in front of a paper shred in front of everybody. And the guy, one guy said, uh, he said, you had Burger King, I could tell. That was really gross. I would never, and I never did that again. Never went out drinking before going to work again. Never do that. Bad idea the night before getting hammered and going to work. Oh, man, it's terrible. Now, I drink responsibly and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, don't do stuff like that. That's the stories. It's kind of funny, but... Well, it's funny now. I don't care. It's ages back, you know, but... Oh, man, don't do that. It is pretty decent. I mean, it's not like a... A decent beer. I'd probably give it a... You know, seven and a half out of ten. So, I thought I'd tell you a little drink. I mean, it's just kind of weird, though, because, I mean, like, one or two beers, you know, before, after work or something like that, but I wouldn't get ripped or drunk and then go back to work the next day. You'll, you'll, you'll regret it. Well, well, maybe not. I don't know. It depends on the person. You definitely want to get a hangover and be going to work. And then it was weird because I used to get, I like V8 tomato juice and stuff like that, and that's pretty good for a hangover, too, but. I remember getting a whole bunch of V8, and the guy said, do you have a hangover? And said, no, I like this stuff. And said, you mean you act like the taste of stuff? Yeah, I thought V8's good. And my friend uh, Scone was saying, like, this was all in Germany. I mean, because I never really drank before. And then the one guy said, uh, one thing you pick up for being in Germany, you'll start smoking and start drinking. Well, I never started smoking. Well, I mean, I never smoked, like cigarettes, I never smoked or anything like that. I mean, recently, I smoked something else, but not cigarettes. And then you pick up drinking, too. Eventually, I picked up drinking, not right away. I mean, one time, I was, like, homesick. I was really homesick. And they took me to the bar, and I had to... Well, I drank... I mean, I drank a little bit off and on when I was in the military. Beer here or there, and, like, made a little Southern Comfort or something like that. But, I mean, I was homesick in November, and a guy took me out to drink, and I drank a lot of tequila. Boy, I had a hell of a good time. No hangover. Um, and I got hammered. And then after that, I started eventually, I started drinking stuff like that, but never, I learned my lesson, never have it like on a, on a, before going to work the next day. Can, I, oh, my, well, my friend Scone, uh, who became a drummer, who directed that Final Tears, Married to Metal, I reviewed, we watched on Amazon, who made a movie a long time ago. Uh, he said, he would rather have a hangover, suffer through a hangover, than drink V8. I was like, hell with that. I, that's like, you drink a V8 and it goes away. Like, that's almost like cheating. That's my story, though. I mean, this is okay, an okay beer. I thought I'd add a little story to it. So, hope you like the video, everybody. Till next time, please take care of my legion on this wet Wednesdays.